I just felt like this really sharp pain right in the center of my chest. I actually had a breakdown the other day with my husband. good y'all welcome back to my channel it's your girl Kyrie. if you're new here please make sure you hit that red subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you don't miss anything when i upload if you ain't new welcome back boo let's go ahead and get it popping so today we have a very different type of video i will be doing a review on a synthetic unit that i think is cute just from the packaging but you know how that could go and also i'm just going to give you guys an update on my pcos pregnancy hair loss hair struggle i should say <laughs> struggle and my weight loss so it's a little bit of everything in one so i'm just gonna go ahead and jump right in because i have to move kind of fast i do have a study group that i have to be at at nine o'clock for l'oreal on a zoom call so i was trying to get myself kind of cute so i don't be up in there looking crazy because i don't know who gonna be up in there looking at me girl it's 7 45 i'm trying to get there by nine so we're gonna try to move a little bit fast zuri sister wig beyond your imagination hd lace front hand tie part it says high heat at 400 degrees this is byd lace h sonia and it says it has curtain bangs which i like i see it right there in the front on her girl this actually reminds me of another blonde curly unit that i did last year somewhere around this time uh what is the name of it i'll pop it up in the video that wig was super freaking cute and people loved it straight out of the pack she's super cute already super soft to the touch the lace is kind of like on the greener to yellow side of things oh she doesn't come with any baby hairs which i didn't really expect i don't care because i don't think i was really going to use any for her um but she has the two combs on the side one down here some adjustable straps honey I, I i'm starting to feel like this tense lace color which i'm using the medium dark brown i feel like it's a little bit too dark on some laces some laces is okay some is not it's making it too dark so i never do this so let's hope everything goes great i'm gonna go in with my becca foundation in the color terracotta um this foundation i feel like it's um a little bit thicker than some of my foundations i don't want anything too liquidy to be seeping all through the hair so we're gonna go with this okay girl i honestly could have probably skipped this part she is such a lace part wig mm, we're gonna do it because no we're not gonna do it we're gonna do it we're gonna do it okay we're gonna do it so just tap it in a little bit and I wasn't going to use this foundation on my face today. I was going to use something else. But since it's kind of on the back of my hand, I'm like, should I use it? Um, <laughs> no, I'm not. All right, y'all. So as far as my PCOS pregnancy journey goes, I still got PCOS, okay? But, you know, I'm still taking the metformin. So uh, let's take it. Let's, let's go back a little bit. So you already know i was taking the metformin to kind of help regulate my cycle and all of those things to kind of get me back on a regular cycle to help me get pregnant and stuff like that now the doctor prescribing metformin just a little backstory if you didn't see my last video and i've been using it and easing up to using the amount that i should have been using if that makes sense because you're supposed to take three a day but i've been taking one a day and then i've noticed that i took a gap of not taking any at all so then i was like girl you ain't been taking this stuff go ahead and start taking two a day to, to see if i can speed it up and that was a big no-no because I took such a break from it. My body wasn't used to it anymore and it wasn't really warming up to it the way it should have been. So it was not a good experience. So one night I caught myself, I know it might be TMI, but one night I caught myself on the toilet like at nighttime while I was trying to go to sleep. It was a crazy y'all. My stomach was so sour. So my stomach was super sour after that and I was like, yo, like that metformin stuff is no freaking joke. 
So I kind of got spooked and I was like, I'm not taking this stuff no more. I'm about to try to do this the natural way, which when you have PCOS, it does help if you have a better diet, if you lose weight. And it's no secret that I'm overweight and technically obese from my height. I'm 5'4 and I'm a, well, at the time I was 194 pounds. I am down to 186 pounds. So you girl lost some weight. Anyways. I was like, um, I'm just going to lose my weight. I'm going to eat right. I'm going to work out and all of that good stuff. So that does pay, play a major part in kind of beating the PCOS and trying to re regulate your cycle on its own. But of course you have to, you know, do it consistently, consistently, consistently. You're not going to see results overnight. You know what I'm saying? Like you have to, my ideal weight for my height is supposed to be somewhere between 120 and 145 pounds so that is a big difference and it will take me a little bit of time and i was like you know what cool let's just do that let's just kind of you know take our time and just do it the right way because to be honest with y'all i'm not really a big fan on taking medicines anyway but because that is something we was thinking about doing like having a baby i was like just take the medicine it'll be fine you're gonna lose weight anyway you've been eating right so soon you'll be off of it and that's what was the mindset at that time especially after that night in the bathroom but i guess sometimes when you're anxious you want to do what you could do at that time that's actually probably my best bet you know i am currently still taking the metformin so we're gonna get there so fast forward a little bit i think maybe like two days after the metformin scare or that sickness in the bathroom i was sleep i was in my bed and i think it was like 12 o'clock at night or something like that and i was on my phone just browsing chilling watching tv it was real late at night i'm, I'm thinking like two in the morning because we go to sleep late a lot of the times and so I just felt like this really sharp pain right in the center of my chest and I was like oof you know what I'm saying just like okay let's just see what's going on here I didn't freak out immediately but I started feeling it again like it was coming and going and it started to spook me because now I started feeling like a little pain in the center of my back my arms started feeling funny and I was like, okay, something ain't right. And y'all know what we do when something ain't right. We go straight to Google. So, of course, you know, any chest pain that you have, most people associate it with, am I having a heart attack or something? And the reason why I thought that is because I've had high cholesterol a lot of times. That runs in my family. Um, the last doctor I saw was like, girl, your, high cholesterol, your cholesterol is so high. It just looks like that's the genetic makeup of your body. So I'm like, I know I have to get my cholesterol in order. My aunt just had a heart attack like a couple of days ago. And I was like, girl, you might want to go to the hospital. But I kind of didn't want to go to the hospital at the same time because COVID. You know, if I don't have to be there, I don't want to be there. We end up going to the hospital. We end up going to the hospital. They did an EKG. They took blood. They did all the stuff. We was in the air for hours and hours. I'm talking up until 7 in the morning. Um, they said, as far as my heart goes, everything seemed to be pretty okay. I left it at that, and I was like, okay, I'm ready to go home. Y'all got me up in here. Y'all not really telling me what's wrong. They gave me some gastrointestinal medicine to take, but they never actually said you have acid reflux or heartburn or gastrointestinal issues they gave me the medicine i felt like because they were trying to see if that was the issue and it helped for a little bit but not really so i left i was like my heart good i'm going home i don't really care about nothing else i talk about because honestly <laughs> it's covid and i ain't trying to be up in here if i don't need to be up in here so when i went home um i didn't take any medicine or anything since i left the hospital I still was feeling the pains coming and going and I started to feel like it was anxiousness or if I was thinking about it I would feel it because I do suffer from like these little spurts of anxiety attacks like all day so that is something that I do struggle with and I'm like is that like a new symptom or something I got something in the mail from the hospital telling me to take some Pepsi which is like some gastrointestinal medicine so that way I could kind of tame it I guess if you want to say like kind of you know control it so 
I went to CVS and I got it and I took Pepsi for maybe two, three days because I don't really like to stay stuck on medicine. And also, it's like if I'm stuck on a medicine, how can I know if I'm getting better? I'm going to be like, oh, the medicines make me better. Like, how long do I take it? So I took it for maybe like the first two, three days and then I stopped. I don't feel the pain anymore, so I don't really know what was going on. They were, um, I did follow up with my doctor who did say it could have been gastrointestinal. Who knows, okay? I had just hopped off of eating a whole bunch of animal produce food, like anything with cheese, eggs, meats. So I was thinking maybe my diet was kind of scaring my system too like whoa wait a minute what's all these vegetables this girl eating you know what i'm saying <laughs> that sounds so bad like girl you wasn't eating your vegetables before i was but not it wasn't the only thing and that's basically almost anything everything i eat now is just vegetables like so i let about a week or two go by and all right so i started taking the metformin again but this time i started taking it one a day and i was like girl just start from scratch don't take too much just keep it easy. So that's what I've been doing. And so far, I haven't had any more issues as far as it sending me to the bathroom and making me feel sick. So that is a plus. But also, I'm still contemplating if I even want to continue to take it. Because like I said, I don't really like to put medicines in my body. So I've been working out every morning. I hit because I we purchased a treadmill, which I'm going to do a review on shortly. Um, so in our little mini gym, we have little things. So I kind of work out every day morning unless i'm doing like a video or something like i am today then i'll do it like later in the evening but even if i don't do a heavy workout i make sure that i hit that treadmill at least for 15 minutes whether it's a walk a jog or whatever but it is a really tight part so i would say that you may have to go in and then plick it i said plick it pluck it to widen it up just a little bit but i, I don't got time <laughs> And also, we do know it's a lace front wig, but I'm going to say it anyway. The um, hairline is super blunt, girl. Ain't nothing natural about this hairline, but I didn't expect it to. to. I don't care or anything. It's super blunt. So, I like y'all know I like to go in after I add my little powder, which I use the LA Girls color to get the powder in my part, girl. And I'm going to go with my Milani setting spray so it's not cakey maybe after i finish styling it you won't even notice the part like that you know what i mean so oh she's cute she does look like the girl on a stock car and also i'm gonna say she's really freaking soft too y'all she's really soft and i'm happy these little curtain bangs what you talk about girl she cute even without the makeup i'm going in with my becca backlight priming filter um primer I like Becca. Becca is a really good brand. I, I don't hear people talk about Becca often, but Becca has done me good in the past, y'all. I can't even lie to you. And I actually like this primer. It kind of gives you like a, a little radiance. You know what I'm saying? Like a little glow. So you're not looking all super matte and stuff. This is from Ciate London. This is the Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Powder. It's a white translucent powder. And I'm going to put this on my greasy patches. And I try not to put it right up under my eye because I'm up under my eye will start looking dry and creasy. So I'll put that here. And I do put it on my brows too. So the foundation that I'm going to go back to is going to be from NYX, y'all. I used to use this years ago. I actually did a comparison video with this. Um, foundation in their can't stop won't stop which is a matte I had to go back I went to alter the other day and picked it up because I'm like girl go get your stuff that you know work because some of these foundations be a hit and miss but I love this stuff so this is what I'm gonna use for my entire face but I'm gonna do my brows first and finally got my hands all these years to do makeup never picked up the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, dip brow pomade and I have it in the color ebony so I'm gonna fill my brows in real tea quick and then my foundation all right y'all so because I'm doing a real too you see all this makeup dripping on me but that's because I was doing something in a real so y'all probably like girl why you got all that makeup dripping on your face like that let me go ahead and blend that in right now I typically clean my brows up like first but because I was doing a real, I have to do things a little bit differently. But do y'all see? Can y'all see how natural? Oh my gosh. When I tell y'all this is hands down my favorite foundation. The only reason why I haven't used this foundation in years is because sometimes 
I be get, I get bored with everything quick, y'all. Even if it's good for me, I just be like, ah, oh, I'm bored of this. So what happened was I used it so much that I just wanted to try some new stuff. But I've tried new foundations, and honestly, all the foundations I use, I feel like is okay. This is hands down my favorite foundation of all time. I personally just like how natural and skin like it looks and it blends to my skin so perfectly this looks like it's my skin like you can't tell me nothing girl all right y'all so let's get back to this 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 topic of story so um yeah so metformin weight loss and all of that stuff so i know you guys so it is quite taking quite some time i wasn't really expecting it to take like a week or anything like that because i know i have pcos and I know there's a process. So I was just kind of taking it day by day, not putting a lot of pressure on myself, but my ultimate thing, y'all, is to just be healthy. So me um, losing weight and eating differently is my main, main focus, especially if I get pregnant. I mean, I don't want to be pregnant and unhealthy, you know? So I'm like, at least you could like do is keep yourself healthy. So when you get pregnant, you're healthy you don't that's just me i don't want to be an unhealthy pregnant person like just feeling to get pregnant but i'm unhealthy at the same time because that can't be good for nobody girl so that's what we at on that now as far as this pcos goes in my hair um you guys probably heard me mention on my stories that i'm about to cut my hair back to a pixie so that's currently my thought process as of last week and now I'm like girl I don't know because I done did these ponytails I was trying to do the ponytails to get them out the way so I could have hair on my head to do the ponytails because I knew in my mind that I was going to be cutting my hair so I text lax my hair um, I'm not natural I did mention that I was text lax in a couple of videos and it's because it's just easier for me to detangle. When I had short hair, it was just easier to deal with. Because you ain't got no hair, you can wash your hair as much as you want. It's easier to style. And that's one reason I was like, man, I'm about to cut my hair again. Because I can't deal with this. So, I don't know, girl. I saw some somebody's picture that also sparked it in me. They had this cute pixie. And I was like, yeah, girl. And short hair is easy to deal with. Most of the time, I'm in the house. Um, when I'm chilling in the house, my hair looks a mess because it's either in braids for the wigs i was recently trying to style my hair like straighten it and wear it like out and straighten and stuff like that it's like okay how much heat you gonna keep putting to your hair and i know y'all probably like what about heat damage girl i don't care nothing about that <laughs> i don't care nothing about that i mean i do but i don't i do use what you call um you know i do use heat um heat control products heat protection products when i do use heat on my hair but i don't care like if it's gonna be easier for me that's what i'm gonna do if it gets heat damage and heat damage i already done bleached my hair it is what it is if it does get damaged which i don't think it is because i do condition it really well it doesn't seem to be dry or damaged or anything but you can always cut it you know that's how i feel i don't cut my hair so many times i'm like girl just do what you want with your hair but anyway but i do i do like how i was looking and those recent ponytails and stuff so that's why i was like hmm girl maybe not maybe not you do need a little bit of hair on your head so you can do certain things so we'll see what happens i know like the end of last year i was even contemplating locks and only because also y'all i hate doing my hair it's the thing i hate doing my hair everyone knows it um and that's why wigs play a big part in it it's like of course initially you have to style it but once you actually Put the wig on and get it styled if it's a pop and go something easy you could just pop it on again the next day and keep it pushing i don't really like to do my hair i just feel like it's just something i don't like to do but when i had the short haircuts whether it was like a caesar or a pixie it's just less work you just brush that sucker up and keep it pushing so that's one thing i was like oh, i should cut it but we'll see what happens because i'm up and up with that one i'm not really sure if that's really what i want to do the second thing is my edges y'all oh my gosh like PCOS has snatched every piece of edge I own now when at first it was just killing this side and then I noticed that it started killing this side but now it's just like it's just killing them both like the same and I'm like gosh like 
Can I get a break? Now, first of all, I've been dealing with this, these like thin edges for a long time. Even when I was a young girl, my edges were never super full and super thick. So having a PCOS is just making it 10 times worse. First of all, I thought that at first when I noticed it like getting thin, it was years ago. I was thinking like, dang, maybe it was all those years of cornrows and box braids and you know, pulling weaves and pulling my edges out. Maybe that's what caused it, but I don't think so. I really don't think so. Cause even with like my mom and stuff, I've noticed she, she does like a lot of crochet and stuff. And sometimes her hair, what time is it, 822, would get pulled a lot. And she would start thinning out on edges, but it always grows back when she leaves it alone. I'm like, mine's never go back. I don't touch my edges like that. I don't pull it back anymore. The only thing I do to my edges is put some edge control or something like that on it. If I do put gel products on it, I wash it out. So I'm like, there's like really no reason why my edges should be this thin. I actually had a breakdown, a breakdown the other day with my husband. I'm like, man, I'm tired of this. Like, my edges is bald, girl. I'm gonna pop a freaking clip in here. When I put the ponytail in the other day, you can see like my edges are gone, gone. Now, sometimes you guys may not notice how thin it really is because I kind of disguise it, of course. You find ways to kind of work with what you got. And most of the time I'm bringing hair to the front and kind of swooping it back to kind of cover it. Funny thing is I grow hair in front of the balding parts and behind it, but like in the middle it's just, it's, it's skin. And I noticed that when I had the short haircut, it didn't show as much because when you have short hair, everything's kind of blending a little bit better, better if you have bald spots. But also, um, my hair with the pixie especially is brushed to the side on the, on the side so the hair up here will like cover it. And that's one reason why I was like, girl, maybe you should just cut your hair because everything's all jacked up at this point. Y'all ever feel like, okay, I just wanted to be a chill day in my natural, but you just still want to look cute in your natural. And sometimes I'll be like, this ain't cute. <laughs> So, we'll see what happens with that. I could work with that. So the lashes is actually from Amazon. All the lashes I wear is typically from Amazon. So it comes with like some really cute styles. Not sure which style I'm gonna put on. So I'm gonna apply that y'all and come back with the finished look, okay? All right y'all, so I just got finished with the meeting y'all. Girl, when I tell you I only had 10 minutes to it, I had to race. But anyways, this is the completed look. So I'm just gonna have to say that this wig is absolutely gorgeous y'all. I'm absolutely in love with this hair. First of all, these curls are so pretty. The color is so popping. Um, this was like one of the easiest wigs. At first, I was hesitant. I was like, when you do this video, girl, get you a wig and just don't want something you already had before because I wanted to save time. But she was easy. Like literally just the powder and the foundation just made my job so freaking easy. Um, she looks good. And I told y'all that you wasn't really going to see all that because the hair is going to cover it up. So that hairline, we ain't really have to worry about. But she's mad cute and she does remind me of Ella. She reminds me of Ella a lot, but I like her a lot better. She's super soft to the touch, y'all. She is a full little unit. I didn't do anything to her. I didn't cut her. I didn't customize her. Like literally what you saw me do on camera is all I did to her. And I feel like she came out so pretty. She's one of the easiest wigs that I have, y'all. So she might have to end up in one of my everyday unit collections. I don't know if I'm selling her because she's the bomb and then some. I really do like her. Okay, I see y'all. <laughs> and these lashes are so freaking cute, y'all. Amazon be hooking me up. But I know this video is probably long enough, so I'm going to wrap it on up, y'all. So I hope you guys enjoyed my little update. Of course, I'm going to keep filling you guys in on my little journey with this whole pregnancy PCOS weight loss thing. Um, because I am losing so much weight and I have changed my diet and my routine and just my daily life up, excessively i think i'll start incorporating some of those videos i kind of showing you guys what i do on a regular what i eat what i work out and do and all that stuff so if you want to try to do these things from home you can too girl because i'm telling you seven pounds down in one week all i have to say is you just have to be dedicated and you just have to do it like you can't be lazy you can't say i'm gonna do it tomorrow like do it today like for real because it actually works and i'm actually seeing results now and i'm so proud of myself but i'm gonna wrap this video on up y'all until next time oh the contacts of the day is actually from lens nature i'm wearing the lemon chestnut the promo code carry if you want to save yourself a little coin 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 that information will be listed down below and i did do a try on haul with all their contact lenses that have this included in that one video. So I'll see y'all later until next time.